Hello friends, today we will discuss how to show or hide form section based upon some condition in ServiceNow. Sometimes you will get a requirement like that when this will be visible or when this incident state is this, that time we need to show this form section. So how we will do that, we will see today. So for implementing this, we will take one use case and use case is that we create one form section, their name is color information in incident form which will show caller mail id and their first name last name department and this form section will be visible when caller info field will be checked so let's go to the instance and we'll implement so just open incident and open one of the incident yeah Let's create a firstly new field. So I will go to the form design. From from table direct table also you can create the field. From here you are also you can create the field. So let's go to the field type and select the true false. Then just click on this edit icon and make their name that is caller info and their packet name will be u underscore caller underscore info and save it and save it then we need to create one form section as well so how we'll do that just go down just click on plus icon then instead of new section write that is caller information and save it so till now we have created one field that is caller info and we have created form section that is color information so let me refresh this page and we'll see that yeah we have got the color info field and the form section that is color information but under this color information you see nothing is there like uh, we need to populate the color first name last name their mail id and their department so how we'll do that so for that we we just do the dot work because color is the yeah, reference field here so we just go to the form layout let me close this one and we just search the caller yeah this caller is there just click on expand selected reference field yes now just go down and from section we have to select our section yes and this section we will select what is their first name so yeah this is the first name last name yeah last name also there email then we need to select the email email is also there then department all four are there and just save it yeah if you save it you will see till now we have populated their first name last name email and department these are the and the caller is david miller right so let me redesign this form realign this we go to the form design and just caller first name will be on left then below that caller last name then caller mail id and the color department yeah perfect just save it so now it, after real, realigning this those field it will it will give a good look yes if you see under color information we are getting the color first name last name email and department now the second thing is that like when 
this color inform info field is checked that time only we need to show this form section otherwise it if this is unchecked it will not show this form section so how we'll do that for that we will write one client script that is on change client script so we just duplicate that we can configure click on client script yes we click on new and we'll put the name that is show or hide form section then select the u table already selected that is incident so ui type that will be the all type it will be the on change because on changing of this color info field we, we we need to control the visibility of that form section then in we have to select the field name so when we tell select the type on change we need to select the field name as well so we we'll select our field name that is color info yes now here we will write our code firstly we will get the value of the color 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 info so we will write g underscore form dot get value and we will take the value so what is we have check what is the backend name that is u underscore color underscore info so you just paste it here yes then then we write if so our logic is that like if this uh, color info is checked then only we need to show this form section so we'll write if val equal to equal to true then we need to show this form section right like g underscore form dot set section display and we'll and in here we'll write the section name that is what is our section name that is color information so their backend name will be color underscore information then comma so we need to uh, we need to show this form section right so we'll make uh, true and put semicolon let me see why this is g underscore why this throwing oh this because of this comma yes what is the error here g underscore form oh set from this set section display what is oh here also we have not put the comma okay yes then if this is unchecked so we need to hide it right so we'll write the logic we'll just copy it completely and here instead of true we need to write the false yeah. and just save it we will again go to our page this incident form and if we refresh it let me see color info is unchecked but color information form section is still showing and if we check it and then uncheck it then it's going but you have noticed like when when it's a uh, when it's loading the fun the fun form is loading it it's showing right so we need to hide and hide even in the form loading so how we'll do that we have to just copy this line the g underscore form set section display call underscore information comma false and 
paste it after that so whatever the code you written here yeah whatever the code you written here after if is loading that will run on the form load and whatever the code you will written here means outside of this this if that will run on change of that field which which you have selected okay so if we just save it and now just uncheck it firstly just refresh it so you will see this time that uh, caller information form section will not visible to you once you checked it it's getting visible once you uncheck it it's not getting visible so that is our only requirement like when caller info is checked that time we need to show this caller information when caller info is unchecked that time we need to hide this hide this form 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 section so now our objective is complete so let me explain you this client script once again so this is the name which again table that is incident because we need to apply on the incident ui top will be means it will, it will be applicable on all devices whether it's a desktop or mobile type will be on change our requirement is like that like in on change of one field means this the, when this field the caller info field will be checked that time we need to show the form section so that's why we take the on change client script yeah application will be global active is true inherited not required global also true means it will global means it will applicable in the all view of incident yeah and here this is the our script so here we have taken this set section display set section display the first display is used to control the visibility of the form section so here and this is the backend name of the form section and the false they, it is taking two two parameters one is the form section and other one is the boolean whether it's true or false true means it will be visible false means it will not visible so on load we don't want to show that uh, form section right so that's why mm, that's why we have made it false and here we we have just, and we have uh, we have created one variable that is val in val we are storing the value of a caller info what value you are getting whether it's a check whether it's true or false then we are comparing if it's true then we need to show this caller information section and if it's not true means if it's unchecked that time we need to hide that form form section the same thing we are doing here like if it's unchecked the caller information will not be visible if it's checked then caller information will be visible so i hope you got the logic if you not got it just watch this video once again you will get it if you if you have any feedback please comment